Hey everybody, this is Sandra. My, that's my cat. Uh, it's Dill Cherry coming at you guys with a uh, Dollar Tree haul and a Walmart haul. I'm probably going to go through the Walmart first because the Dollar Tree is kind of big. Grab you a drink, <laughs> some coffee, whatever you have. Sit back and watch what I got. <laughs> um, sorry for the situation I got up here. I just The hair is going all over. You guys, I took the day off. Today marks the one year anniversary of my mom's passing. So I took the day off, went to her graveside, um, went to Walmart first to pick up some flowers. I bought big old, two big old things of flowers to put on her grave. And um, yeah, so did that, talked to mom, spent some time with her, um, just kind of waited out that hour. Um, she passed about 11, I want to say like 11.30, and I got there, got there about 11 o'clock, and I just kind of sat there, you know, for a while. Um, let's say I left like late. I was there over an hour. Um, the ants were starting to bite me up, and when I went there, you know, I like going there when it's really, really quiet and peaceful, and... Um, Lord forgive me, my prayers are with him, but there was another funeral going on, like, right, not right, right close, but close enough to where I wanted my peace and quiet, <laughs> but of course, you know, there are funerals first, but, um, yeah, so, um, it, I waited in the car a little bit until people, because people were starting to leave, um, and so... You know, the bulldozers were there patting the dirt out and all that stuff like that. But, it, I mean, it was, wasn't was close, close, but it was close enough to make, like, noise where, you know, I like to sit there and I like to just listen to the waves and, I'm the waves, <laughs> listen to the wind and just kind of take in the silence there. I don't know. I don't know if it's anybody. I just find cemeteries so peaceful. And before I talked to my mom, I like to just kind of, I went there, put her flowers down, watered them, sprayed them. I have like this little spray bottle. So I filled the spray bottle up twice, poured the water in the, in the uh, plant <clears throat> or the flowers, big orange ones and big yellow ones. Oh, she, I know she loves those when I say she loves those because my mom's an angel and I know she sees them and she loves her flowers. So I put, um. You know, I went ahead and poured a lot of water in because the lady was telling me that they need a lot of water. So I poured two bottles of that water in there, and then I sprayed them down, like sprayed them, sprayed them, sprayed them. It was like a spray that I had. So anyway, yeah, so I sat and chat with mom, let her know, you know, I'm, I was doing good, not crying. And then, you know, I it's the best I've done. I have to say, you know, usually I go there as soon as I hit that corner and go into the cemetery, I start crying. Um, today I got in there, was able to get this flower situated, and there's like a wall right there, you know, right next, um, like here's her grave, and then there's like a wall. Like when you go in the cemetery, there's graves down, and then you walk up the steps, and there's this wall, and then there's graves up there. Now she's up there, and it's real nice, beautiful cemetery. It took so many pictures. It's just so peaceful, you guys. And so I got there and prayed, and then I talked to her, and... Yeah, we had our conversation, and the ants started eating me up, and so I left. I just wanted to kind of stay through the time that she had passed, you know, and just, you know, just kind of wait out that time. Anyway, so I'm going to get with my haul. So I did go, like I said, I went to Walmart, trying not to touch my face so much, but um, I'm going to do the Walmart first. Now, my Walmart trip. I'm going to have to go on my online app and take some. That was the first time I've been in Walmart since COVID. <laughs> so um, I need to go on my app and take some things out because my main reason for the trip was to get spices. This is the time of year that I stock up on my spices. And trust me, my hair is just... <laughs> anyway, so this is the time of the year. I oh, so yeah, while I was there... Of course, I always get caught up in the decorations. So what I'll do is show you guys first the decorations that I got. Um, I saw this and I thought it would be perfect for my brother just to have their, you know, their little tree at the house. They got ornaments and stuff there. I wanted to get some, 
he loves the Grinch. <laughs> so that's what I'm really looking for. But anyway, these are the little dollar ninety eight, um, you know, little ornaments that they have. So this year I saw this bulldozer truck with a Christmas tree on the back and the lights. I thought that was really cute. So I got that from my brother. I need to go back and look for one for my sister. But I, I mean, I, one sister I got. Like I, my siblings, I like to give them ornaments for their tree. I used to give my mom ornament too, but. So this one, my sister is in love with pink. And so I thought that was so cute, you guys. Look at that. And it has a cupcake, a cuppy cake on top. So I thought that was really, really cute. And so it's just a camper. And it's like a rose. Well, it's not even rose gold. It's, it's pink. It's like a pale pink. I thought that was so cute. So it's like a little camper. And then I was going through the candles. You guys know that's my weakness. So this one, it's called Mold Cider. Mold Cider. And it's by Mainstays. And y'all, this smells like Christmas. Anything apple, to me, smells like Christmas because it smells like apple pie. And we always make apple pie during Christmas time. And then this I just got, I was going to get, a, you know, just a little snack just in case I needed to, um, you know, until I get hungry. And it's supposed to stay chilled. I'm just noticing that. But this little core, uh, core bar. I hope it's low on carbs. Zero added sugar. Protein. 17 grams of protein. Cool. Okay, so that was that. Then we switch over to... Oh, okay, so I bought two of these as well. And these are the ice drinks. You guys know I always buy these ice drinks. And this one is five cal. I couldn't find any of the zero calorie ones. This is a five calorie, but ironically, it's zero carbs. So that works for me. Um, doesn't work as far as fasting because when you're fasting, if you have calories, that stops your fast. So I don't know. Lately, I've been just going ahead and having like little thing, like high in protein things, just a little something when I get hungry, just to tie me over. Um, I don't know. I have to. Uh, Hopefully that wasn't, won't mess up my um, intermittent fasting, but I bought two of those, you guys. Then, because it is baking season, and I wanted to make a banana nut bread for my family. Now, they are still getting together, you guys. They're still getting together over my mom's house for Thanksgiving. I'm not. I'm not going to do it. And so um, I decided I'm going to make a pumpkin bread for them. And, you know, they could take it over there and have it. Maybe a pumpkin bread and a, um, and a banana bread I'll make for them. So I wanted to get walnuts for that. And plus I wanted to mix some walnuts in my little snack um, thing that I have of nuts. I like to snack on nuts. Also, of course, I got my trusty. Um, these are different. These are flour tort. Did I get the wrong ones? Oh, no. Mindful carbs. Now, this one is low carbs. It is 17 grams carbohydrates and 12 grams of dietary fiber. So that leaves 5 grams of carbs. So that's really good for this. And I think it's a little lower with the other ones, but these are cheaper. The other ones are like $4.99. These are $2.98. And so I got these. Um... I got two of these low carb tortillas. And then I needed two things you guys I wanted to do, or no, three things I wanted to get spices for. And I still have not gotten all my spices. It's, I don't know what it is. During Thanksgiving, you would think that they bring out like all the spices that people need. And they didn't have a lot of spices unless somebody else is starting to buy that stuff ahead of time. But three things I want to make during the holidays. I want to make gumbo. I never made gumbo before. I want to make the sausage and chicken one. No rice, sausage, chicken, and probably cauliflower. I don't know. We'll see. Um, or I might just eat it like a soup. But anyway, um, I want to get spices for that. I want to get spices for my turkey for Thanksgiving. My little turkey um, breast that I bought. I bought a frozen turkey. You guys know from my videos, I bought a frozen. I don't think I did a video from it. I don't think I showed you guys, but I bought a small frozen turkey breast in the plastic with the little handle thing on it. I didn't know they sold it like that. Um, I bought it at Aldi's, and so that's in the freezer. I'm gonna freezer. I'm gonna be making that because it's gonna be just me. I'm not gonna be going to my mom's house. 
so I need spices for that. And then I also want to make a big batch of uh, jerk seasoning, Jamaican jerk seasoning, um, because I'll be making um, jerk chicken. <laughs> so anyway, I was able to find off my list of um, spices that I need, I found ground cumin. And I found onion powder. Now, I had onion, the dehydrated onion, but I didn't have onion powder, and I do need that. So, onion powder. And this is their little great value brand from Walmart. Um, I want to say these were like 98 cents. I think a couple of them were a little more than that. It just depends on what kind of spice it is, really. Um, I think these little ones are uh, 98 or dollar ninety-eight. I don't know. Cayenne pepper. I have one, but I got. I just went ahead and grabbed a second one because I need that for both the gumbo and for my... Um, jerk seasoning and then I got uh, allspice this is always hard for me to find but they have the organic um, allspice at Walmart and so that's that and then I picked up a few more spices at um, Dollar Tree you should always check Dollar Tree first but um, you know they go wherever else to buy it I refuse to buy the expensive um, like McCormick's and that, what other Fleischmann's, I don't know, whatever seasons they're called. Some of them, was like $7. I'm like, are you serious? I will not be spending that much money on it. Not unless that's the last thing that I can't find and I've looked everywhere, you know? So on to Dollar Tree, you guys. That's the end of Walmart, I think. I oh, hope. That's the end of Walmart. So on to Dollar Tree, you guys. <sighs> I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> First off, I got this for Zoe. You know, Zoe comes over every once in a while. She's bored. So, um, you know, I'm always jealous seeing my sister make the made a cake with her and had her mix it and do everything, crack the eggs and all that stuff. And anytime, she'll send little videos to us. And so it's funny because... Zoe's like a community baby. Like when her mom's working, everybody watches her. Me, me, my two sisters, we all rotate. Kayla watches her. Um, a family friend, she's a teacher. Her name is Leah. Um, well, my sister's friend, her name is Leah. She's a teacher. And um, she'll get her and keep her sometime for the weekend or whatever. And, you know, it's just, it's so funny. Um, but anyway, when she comes over here, I want her to have something to do. She has a lot of toys, but I want her to do some creative stuff as well. So I got her this cute little snowman that she could put together. It's basic. You know, all she's doing is just gluing the stuff on there. But it's something for her to do and something for her to put up and feel good about. So that's that. And, um, you know, um, you guys, I want to do a char, what is it called? Charcuterie uh, board during the holidays. Not until after Thanksgiving, but I want to do um, one day just, you know, I'm trying to make the best of being here alone. And my nieces, nieces had get togethers and, you know, my family members, they all get together, whatever. They're, nobody's caught anything, knock on wood. Thank you, Jesus. But, um, yeah, they, they still get together. I'm not going to do it. So, you know, I told myself I'm going to make the best of this holiday, you know. And so I'm going to, one of these days, I'm going to make a small charcuterie board and watch some Christmas movies and bundle up with my blanket and, you know, just have a nice little, you know, some champagne and just relax and chill, you know what I mean? So I um, bought some crackers that I'm going to save for that. And so I have to be careful because these are a lot of crackers, I mean, a lot of carbs. And of course, it's going to have to be a time where I allow myself to have, let's see, three crackers is 10 grams of carbs, less <coughs> one dietary fiber, which is one gram. Um, so yeah, that will have to be monitored. Now, back on the spices, you guys, and the seasonings and such. I did find these at Dollar Tree. I like to buy the minced garlic. These are just as good. Um, I like to use these for, um, you know, when I do my, my fish. Um, I want to do a stewed fish like my mom used to do. Um, we, we put tomatoes in it and garlic and onions and just kind of stew the fish. So anyway, I'm going to try that. Then I saw another, another recipe for butterfish. My mom used to make me that when I was little. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Anyway, so another thing for my charcuterie board, I want to have um, 
the green olives. I want to go get the ones that are, I, I need to check out Trader Joe's and see if they have the ones in oil. These are in water, I think. These have the pimentos in it. And I think these are in water. I want to get the ones, like the Italian ones, because I want to have like different um, salamis, um, pastrami, different gouda cheese and gorgonzola cheese. You know, I want to have a nice little tray, but then I also want to have my little vegetables too. I want to have my cut up cucumbers on it and cut up celery on it and, you know, just different things on it. Um, I'm going to have black olives too, but I, it's, you know, it's nice. It just reminds me of the holidays. You know, since I'm going to be here by myself, may as well make the best of it. I wanted crushed... Oh, this is crushed. Rosemary. Oh, it is crushed. Or grated, maybe? I don't know. I thought rosemary would come different. Um, anyway, so I got rosemary. And then I was able to... Uh, well, cinnamon. I got tons of cinnamon, but I go through it so quick. <laughs> so, uh, more cinnamon. Sometimes I put cinnamon in my coffee. Speaking of which, I need my second cup of coffee for the day. Um, I bought some... Cashews. I should have bought two of these, did I? I was thinking I wanted to buy two of them for my charcuterie board. My sister said it's charcuterie, charcuterie or something like that. And I'm like, I've always heard charcuterie. Um, anyway, whatever, whatever it's called. So I did get these for my charcuterie board. Um, I bought three. I thought of these too. You know, I don't know. Maybe I didn't. So I wanted to have like little. Um, Dishes on the side with nuts and different mixed nuts. So I bought two of those. These are pistachios. These are pistachios. These are the cashews halves. And in this you get 2.5 ounces. And in this one you get 0.75 ounces. And then I got my trusty strawberry lemonades. Those are always good. And then they had these. I um, haven't had these. I haven't bought these in a while, but I, you know, they had, had them, so I just grabbed one. Um, these are the little mini bars, and they're about that size in the bag. No, they're bigger than that. They're about this size as on, on the package, but they're wrapped up in a package like that. So, anyway, you guys know that. And then back to the seasons, I got pumpkin spice. I have some of this, but one year I went hog wild and bought a whole bunch of these and come to find out it was pumpkin with sugar in it. And I was so mad. I just need the powder without the sugar in it, like the pumpkin season. So the last time I was at Dollar Tree, I grabbed it and I realized it was what I needed, the powdery one without the sugar in it. And so I went ahead and grabbed another one. This is another thing I tend to use a lot of pumpkin pie, pumpkin bread, and then I found ground ginger, which I was very surprised that they had ground ginger, because I had been looking for ginger for a while. Did I buy ginger, you guys? I don't remember my other bag if I got it, but we'll see. So that was that, and then... Then... You guys, I was walking around with my basket. Look, I wanted to make sure because I ain't been in Dollar Tree in a while, and so I wanted to. And and I was at a different Dollar Tree other than the one by my house. Remember, I was telling you guys last video that the one by my house, it seems like they don't they take everything comes out late. Now I went to the one uh, which is here, um, well in Lakewood Mall. Um, I went to that one and. Um, Oh my gosh, they had so much more than mine down the street. So I went ahead and in case you guys don't know, I like buffalo check. I like the red and the black buffalo check. I don't like, I mean, I the white and black one's okay, but I am one, I like the traditional colors of Christmas and I was raised, my, our family was big on every holiday any everything you know we were like involved in all you know like cr christmas we would just go hog wild and decorate everything the house outside we were in the newspaper one year um you know we we decorate everything halloween we decorate everything thanksgiving we decorate you know everything we decorate so i'm used to traditional colors of red and green um and so i like in the, the black I um, started doing Buffalo Check probably about a good, maybe four, 
about four or five years ago. And every year I say, you know what? I'm just going to do Brooklyn Check again. I, t I like it. I enjoy it. So I did get these bows. Now these bows, I'm not sure if I'm going to, and I didn't realize these are cloth. Oh, hey, why didn't I gra grab two of these? These are really nice. I was going to put these on my mom's grave, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to keep these for in the house because I did get a lot of, um, in the car, I have those big, um, like a reindeer, wooden reindeer, like a flat wooden reindeer, um, snowman, and something else I have you stick in the ground. So I've already started getting stuff from my mom's grave because, you know, I, every year I will be decorating my mom's grave um, for um, Christmas. So, um, yeah, so I did buy these for the grave, but I don't think I'm going to use them because these are cloth and I didn't realize that I need something that's going to last outside you know, weather, I, you know, that can last the weather. I got this, but you guys know what? I've been seeing people haul these and I love this. This is really cute, but my head is so big, you guys. This just ain't going to work for look. That ain't going to work for me. So I got it in hopes that maybe my cousin Alicia or Zoe or somebody might want it. But I just like it. I don't know. I might use it as a decor. Sometimes I use, you know, put it as a topper, tree topper, um, Christmas hat. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. But I just thought it was really cute. But just know that, yeah, if you got a big head, this just ain't going to work. <laughs> Cause I got a big head. Uh, Cause I was gonna, I was gonna put it back. Cause I looked at, it, I was like, mm -mm. And I was gonna put it. Matter of fact, I did put it back, and then I picked it back up, and I was like, now nah, let me go ahead and get it. And then also, this I got Miss Zozo. I don't know. I might keep this and give her the hat. Yeah, you know what? That's what I'll do. Give her the hat and keep this. Maybe we'll take some pictures or something. And so, yeah, I thought this is really cute. It's buffalo check antlers. Kind of bent up from being in the bag, but that's all right. This is so cute, though, you guys. So I got that. And then, so yeah, I came around this corner. I'd already picked that stuff up. And I came around this corner, and I saw these. So I was like, oh, I've been wanting these. Last year, I wanted these so bad and could not find them. They are placemats, and it's all fabric. It's not like that nylon-y material on the back. It's kind of more like a burlappy, I don't know, cotton. And so, yes, I got my, finally got my place mats um, that I wanted last year. So I will be doing a tablescape. Yes, I will. Got something else to show you guys. <laughs> so I got four of those. And then... Finally, you guys, I saw these. Now, I bought some of these in black. I'm probably going to see if um, somebody else... Well, did I get them in black or white? No, I think I did get them in black. And then they said they were going to get it white. And I was like, oh, if they get white, I'll get some. I think it was. Yeah, because, well, I hope so, because I ended up getting two of these. I think they were in black, and I said I was going to paint them. They got white now, you guys. These are the little shelves. I don't know why I didn't grab more of these. I was in line, and at the last minute when I was in line, I ran from my basket and grabbed them off the shelf and put them in my basket, but I might put these in here and put, like, Christmas ornaments on them or something, something Christmas, I don't know, and I'm not sure where, but, yeah, so I got these. I'm so excited, you guys. It comes with all the hardware, and then see how it comes with that in the back. So I got those. Gosh, I could have, I should have got more of those. Why didn't I get more of those? And I, I bet you my niece would like those for her uh, new place. I bet you she would have liked those. Another thing I found, you guys, was the little... I do have an order on my app for Walmart for sugar-free cocoa, and I want to also get sugar-free apple cider. Um, I'm sure I could have made uh, um, sugar-free cocoa, um, you know, hot cocoa here. Um, cause I have two things of cocoa powder in my cabinet. I'm sure there's a recipe I could have used, but anyway, I'm going to get some sugar-free cocoa. And like I said, I can cozy up and with a blanket and watch Christmas lifetime TV. I've been doing that too, you guys. I did it one day. I think I sat and watched like three different 
three different Christmas movies. It's like, uh, just gets you in the mood. And it's about to cool off, you guys. We're about to dip down. Our weather, we're supposed to go from 88, and it's going to drop all the way down to, I think they said 64 the very next day. And then we're supposed to go to 62, and then we're supposed to get rain. And our overnights are going to the 50s and the 40s. I'm like, yes, now that's the weather I like. <laughs> so anyway, so this says tis the seasoning, seasoning, tis the season. And they had a bunch of these. This is another thing I was looking for last year, could not find. And then as I was walking out, now last year I bought the ones you stick in the ground for my mom's grave site. Forgot to go back up there. They give you a certain amount of time to pick up all the stuff from the grave. And so, I, you know, a lot of decorations and stuff that I should have went back. If you don't get them, they just toss them. So, um, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> so, anyway, um, so those are gone. And so now I, ha I thought these were, when I was pulling them out, I thought they were the ones you stick in the ground. They were not. These have little hangers on them. And so I went ahead and got them anyway. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with them. I don't know if... I will put them on her grave. Um, I might just, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I just, at the last minute, I grabbed them. I sure hope they work. Um, oh, I see. So with this, it has the little solar thingy here. And then you can unscrew it and switch that thing on, the switch on. And I don't know, is it on? Oh, it is on. When I point it this way, it's on. When I look at it, it's off. So, yeah, so that just comes on like that. And so we'll have to see how that looks at night. I should sit these in the window right now, huh? Get some sunlight to them. They were in the front of the store, so they were already in the sun. So I did, <clears throat> I did get that in a red, a yellow, a green, and a, I'm sorry, a blue, a yellow, and a red, and a green. <laughs> So, yeah, that's that. And so they just hang. They have a little hanger. They hang like that. So, yeah, these were in the front of the store, so they might have already gotten a little uh, energized from the sun. So Zoe's birthday is coming up, and so I said I was going to decorate here. Um, one day she, she comes over, you know, one day after her birthday. I don't know. I We're probably going to do a drive-by birthday party for her, but um, I have gifts at the house that I don't want to take out because it's big. Or I have one gift over there for her. I don't know if you guys know. You can't see it. So if you see that purple basket here, I put my mail in that. Under it is the... Um, is her gifts. It's a big gift and it's wrapped up. And so I don't want to drag that out of the house and it's going to end up being here anyway. So um, I'm going to have her come over and open it here and I want to decorate the house for a birthday party. Just have a little thing, you know, I'll be watching her for a couple hours and have her come over and celebrate her birthday with Grandy. So I got some little decorations for that. I'll probably go pick up a little bit more. She loves pink. Then I want to say she already has this, but I just said, let me just go ahead and grab it again. I like to get the little Disney Toy Story figurines for her. Um, I just like to collect them. There's a whole lot of them. If she gets tired of them, I'm going to get like one of these little shelves or whatever and just put all the little characters on them. Um, I'm a Disney fanatic. I grew up, my dad was in the Navy. We used to get discount tickets. Grew up in Long Beach, California, and we used to get discount tickets two, three, four times a year. We were always at Disneyland and we got military discounts. So we were always at Disneyland. Even as teenagers, you can get a day pass for like $17.99 and we would go all the time and take, go on base, get tickets for us and our friends and we would go to Disneyland. And so we spent a lot of time until we were dis we were a Disney family, okay? So um, and I had a pass before Corona, and then Corona hit, and so um, Disney went and canceled all the passes, which was very nice of them because it is pricey. But anyway, so yeah, if Zoe gets tired of this, then um, yeah, I could just save these, put them on my little shelf, and collect the little figurines. But this one's a cute one from Toy Story. So I'm collecting the Toy Story ones. I have a lot of the other characters already. Then, for Thanksgiving, I like to give away socks to my family. I've already bought a couple of pairs, so I'll be giving out socks. And I like to get little little gifts for my family on Thanksgiving. Um, 
you know, for the holiday and stuff like that. I usually get like a Christmas mug with some chocolates in it. And, you know, I noticed I did it last year and half of those mugs stay at my mom's house. My sisters didn't, or my uh, family didn't take them home. Um, so I don't think I'll do the mug thing, but I am going to do the sock thing. <laughs> This, um, I had bought two the other day, um, I don't remember what was on them, um, I think a guitar and, um, some other character. This one has mushrooms, and this one has a crown. So, I thought that was cute. And then this year, you guys, I, oh, I bought, uh, some faux snow, some faux snow. So that's this little iridescent snow. And you guys, this year I plan, I have a little village, like the village that I think I showed you guys my last video. I have the little small village um, that I get from Dollar Tree and it's different this year from last year. So I have last year's and I have this year's. So I'm going to be putting together a two tiered little village. And so I had to get some snow. And I, not, I might need to put together like paper mache, some mountains or some, I don't know. I'll have to see. And then I got some of this cotton so that I can make like the little snow on the ground. And then I bought a little Christmas fun pad for Zoe. And it's just little, I have little markers or little colored pencils that she can use to, you know, play with this. That's probably not for a four-year-old. I don't know. Who knows? But it doesn't matter. She'll still play with it. And then I bought this. I would, you know, I grabbed it because it said it was hard candy. And I looked at it. It looks like a lip gloss, and I hope it goes on iridescent. I think it is a lip gloss. I couldn't tell. Um, you guys, my eyes have been tripping lately. Like they really have been tripping. Let's see, liquid sparkle, brilliant liquids. That's all it says, and it just says hard candy. Um, I'm hoping it's a lip gloss. I think it's a lip gloss, but look at the packaging on that. I like that little handle. See how that black, uh, like studded and it's in a really pretty color. I hope it's iridescent and I hope it's a nice little lip gloss. That seems like it'd be really pretty. And that's that for that bag. And then my last bag, can't wait to show you guys. I'm so excited. Let me turn this off before I run it out. Yeah. I thought these are really cute, though. I hope I still do find the ones you stick in the ground. I should have went back up there and grabbed them, because they give you a certain amount of time, like well into January. I think the weekend of January, you have to move everything. And I don't know. I was busy, caught up doing the other things, and totally forgot to get it, you know. So, anyway, so you guys. Last year, or not last year, well, I think they did have them last year. I wanted silver, but I didn't say I didn't see the silver, and I didn't want to take a chance of not seeing the um, the silver, and then they get rid of, I mean, the gold sells out. So, I got this, the gold trim bowls and I got the plates. So here are the bowls. I got four of them. And yes, this will be part of a tablescape. I've been wanting something simple. I like simple. <clears throat> and so when I do my tablescapes, I don't like them to be missy matchy and all hoopla and whatever, you know. So I like things to be simple and classy looking. And so not to say no one else's, don't get me wrong. It's just I prefer um, less is more. And so, yeah, these were really nice. And I like the little shape of them. And I could just see myself eating my gumbo out of one of these. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm so excited. These are so pretty. And so they did. They had silver like a year or two ago. They had these trimmed in silver. And I was going to get them. Something told me to get them. And I was like, no, you know, I'm not going to get them. I'll come back later and get them. Girl went back. All of them were gone. They were all the gold, the silver. All of them were gone. And so this year when I saw them, I kept saying when I see them, I'm going to buy them up. I kept waiting for them to come out because they come out every year. And I just kept waiting. And when I walked in, I saw them. I went right over there and grabbed my, uh, you know, 
grab what I wanted. Some of these aren't too, sh uh, I don't know, can't see them on camera, but they're real pretty. So nice. So I did get four of those, and they have the mugs. I did not want mugs. I have no more space for mugs, okay? So I do want to see if I can find gold glasses. I've seen gold glasses somewhere. I just need to find out where they are. Even if I can get a glass with gold trim on it, you know, something like that. So anyway, yeah, I got four of those. I need a china cabinet. I mean, I have a built-in cabinet, but it's full and it's like catty corner and it doesn't fit a lot in there. Um, and then I have a low, kind of like a buffet cabinet. Is that what they call it? A buffet cabinet or whatever? But it's really small. It's one from um, Target and it's very, very small. So I got to figure out where to store my dishes because, um, yeah, I got a lot of dishes. <laughs> And then, you guys, I got, I'm not going to show you all of them, but I got the plate. And the plate has the gold trim around it. Oh, isn't that pretty? I love it. And they're so nice. So I got to wash these off real good. And, yeah, so I could just see these with my, uh, pair them up with the uh, Buffalo Check um, placemats. But, yeah. Very nice, very, very nice, and I got the bowls because I like how that looks with the bowls on them. So that's going to be really pretty. So, yeah, that's it, you guys, and I got, like I said, four of these. And who makes these? These are by Royal Norfolk. That's Royal Norfolk. I guess in Norfolk, Norfolk, Virginia. That's where my sister and my brother was. My oldest brother, my oldest, not oldest, but my, from my mom's side, my older brother and sister. And then um, they were born in Norfolk, Norfolk Virginia. <laughs> and then my middle sister was born in Linwood, Los Angeles. And I was born in Long Beach. So we we're all born somewhere. We we're all born all over the place. <laughs> my dad was in the Navy. My mom's from Jamaica. Um, well, my mom was born in Jamaica. She moved to England for 11 years, and then my dad and her met. They got married in England and moved here. Just a little fun fact. But anyway, um, yeah, so I thought that was really cute. I finally got them, you guys. I finally got them. Um, yeah, I, I did want the silver, but I'm not going to wait around for the silver. I just went in and grabbed the gold because I didn't want them to be out. And the gold matches better with what I have anyway. So that works out. So I gotta wash these real good. Should have saw me telling the lady, be careful now. Don't you bring my plates now. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, I think that is it. That is it, and that is it. That is the end of my Dollar Tree haul. And Walmart. So look at all my buffalo check. Let me get a screenshot. This never works for me, you guys. I just want to let you know now. This screenshot thing that they do to get uh, the you know the picture or whatever they call it. I don't know. Here, let me put this on. Let's see if I can catch a picture. My big head. Oh, yeah, my head is so big. <laughs> I got the biggest head. <laughs> okay. Let me hold these. Let's see if we can get us a little. I don't want to put the truck in there and mislead anybody thinking that the truck is a Dollar Tree. So I was gonna put the truck in there too, but okay. So my table mat, my hat, my cup. So I'm gonna have to do this with one hand. Let's see how am I gonna do this? And then. One hand to click. <laughs> Y'all. Uh, oh, wait. No, I'm not going to do that. I almost missed up my video, you guys. 39 minutes, too. Wow. All right. So let's do a screenshot. Oh, my cup. Let's put the cup in the front. I don't know how long I'm supposed to pose for this, but we're going to do this. I'm not sure how long I got to wait, y'all. I'm going to wait kind of long because I don't want it to not do it. 
Okay, I think that's long enough. <laughs> Yo, it never works for me, you guys. Anyway, we'll see this time. So anyway, you guys, I'm going to let you go. And thanks for joining me. You guys get out there, get to Dollar Tree, and get what you can get now. Because let me tell you, y'all know this stuff don't last. It don't last. Even Walmart, even the little stuff at Walmart, this stuff doesn't last. This stuff goes quick. If you like pink, this is so adorable. I love it. It was the last one that they had there. Um, I remember one year I bought one of those um, VW buses for a coworker, and I went back to get one for my sister. They were gone. So you got to grab the stuff now, you guys. Now is the time. It's early, yes, but if you want the good stuff, get it now. Put it up in your garage or wherever you put it up for when you get ready to decorate. But get your stuff now because it will be all gone, okay? So anyway, thank you for joining me, you guys. I appreciate it. If it's 40 minutes, if you guys have stuck with me, you are my ride or die. And I know there are some ride or dies. And I thank you so much. I thank you so much for hanging in there. You guys have a wonderful day. And I hope you guys have, um, you know, uh, been staying safe. And let's just get through this holiday, get through all this so we can get our little vaccines or whatever, you know, let's just, I just pray that, you know, this is over soon. I really do. I pray that they come out with a good vaccine, like, and they make sure that it's safe and we're able to contain this thing and get it out of here so we can all go back to our life. And also, if you guys voted, that is awesome. I'm just, it doesn't matter who you guys vote for, who wins. As long as you get out there, exercise your right, and whoever wins, just remember, life still goes on. It doesn't matter. Life is still going to go on. Like somebody said on the radio, the world is still going to turn. We're still going to go on, and we're going to live, and it, that's that, you know? We, there, we can't, there's nothing we can do for stuff we cannot control, you know? So, whether, he, whether Trump or Biden wins... We're all still here. We live our lives and we move on, right? Okay. Love you guys. And don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up, whatever you can. And happy shopping, you guys. Bye.